Perhaps I should remind you against what backdrop the development of nuclear physics unfolded at that time, and how the work on its development and further improvement didn't quite stop there. From 1954 until the present day, more than 2,400 nuclear bomb tests were carried out around the globe. The majority of testing took place from 1961 to 1990. On average, one or two nuclear devices were tested every week. Nuclear explosions spread almost around the entire planet. The tests were conducted in the Pacific Ocean, the islands of the Indian Ocean, the southern part of the Atlantic Ocean, on the territory of Australia, in French Algeria, in the Sahara, at many places in the USSR, such as Semipalatinsk, and at the test site Novia Zemlya in the Arctic Ocean, and on the territory of the US. Almost the entire Earth was covered in nuclear weapons testing. An expected breakthrough in this direction, to some degree, encouraged physicists to come up with new ideas. Perhaps mankind and, to a greater extent, European civilization are wired in such a way that no great achievements are possible without the factor of competition. And maybe we, being human, cannot look at the history of the development of mega science facilities without some factor of competition. But in fact, back in the day, immense human resources were dedicated to solving this problem not solely from the viewpoint of competition.